clue. This is Paul Christ for the fifth episode of the Funky Shredder. Today we're going to talk about the two-stroke roll. Um, the use of the two-stroke roll in rock and heavy metal music is a little bit of a mixed bag because it has the extra component per head that has two hits per head instead of one. And in uh, styles of music that are traditionally so loud, it, uh, it doesn't feel as uh, natural in a lot of instances to drummers that prefer to play that style of music. Even if you don't develop it to the point where you're playing it at 100 million miles an hour, it's still worth investing time in because it affords you coordination combinations around the drum set that the single stroke roll makes almost impossible. Uh, here's an example. So uh, that fill right there, floor, snare, bass, floor, hat, bass, floor, snare. One E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the... Uh, it flows very naturally when you play it as a two-stroke roll. Uh, if you were to try that to do that one hit per hand instead of the two, it would look something like this. I may or may not have been slightly exaggerating for comedic effect, but it's really not that far off. Look at how much my trunk has to move in order to pull that off with the, uh, the single stroke sticking. Or take two. Definitely not something that you would ever use as a go-to fill, whereas if you do it in doubles... can see that it's only really the wrists and the fingers moving. Your trunk is able to stay stable, which makes it easier to access the fill and uh, work it in when you're playing time. So, one more time in context. Two-stroke roll! Now comes the portion of the video where uh, ordinarily a ridiculous question is answered, but in this case, it's more of like a kind of a, a somber and also ironic question that comes to us from Davina, hey girl, which is, uh, why is it that they sanitize the injection point on the arm of a person about to receive a lethal injection? Now, I have to confess, uh, I thought that the answer to this question was a little bit more obvious, but uh, this is for Davina, Davina, any five-year-old kid could tell you that the reason why they sanitize the injection point on the arm of someone about to receive a lethal injection is so that the particular point of cosmic attention known at that moment is the person receiving the injection does not bring with them the impression of sickness as they shed the mortal coil and the vital essence rejoins the shimmering darkness of collective consciousness that unifies all living things. Um, they covered that on Sesame Street, actually. Do you remember the Snuffleupagus, oh, the shimmering darkness of collective consciousness? So maybe you didn't see that episode. Well, I uh, hope that answers your question. This is uh, Paul Christ here for the Funky Shredder. And um, let's do the, a terrible version of the robot. <laughs>